Good evening and welcome to the 2022 annual meeting of the membership of the Jewish Historical Society of Greater New Haven. My name is Marjorie Drucker and I am the co-president of the society. I'd like to introduce you to co-president Burton Levine. Um, thanks Mar Marjorie. Uh, thank you all for joining us remotely for the second consecutive year. Um, although we miss getting together in person, we want to assure you that during the, this past year and throughout the pandemic, your historical society has been quite busy and engaged in the activities that our mission statement speaks to. And I think we're gonna see the mission statement here. Yes. Um, And here it is, here it is, here's the, uh, here, here's the agenda for the, uh, for tonight. So we will have a welcome, which we just did. And um, as you can see the next, as our mission states, as we just noticed before, our rich history is the product of our community and all the many contributions of people like you who support our work. It's my privilege at this time to reflect with you on members of the Jewish Historical Society who have passed away since last year's annual meeting. We honor the memory of the following past members, Marvin Barger, Irving Kalichman, Daniel Crivellin, and Edward Winnick, Zukarnam Liveraha. May their memories be for a blessing. Uh, here's Marvin. Um, it's really an honor to pay tribute to uh, our archivist for so many years, Martin Bar Marvin Barger. Uh, Marvin served faithfully as our archivist, our advisor, our friend uh, uh, for 22 years. Um, um, it's his legacy to the Jewish Historical Society is immeasurable. Uh, this year, uh, we voted to name the Marvin S. Barger Video Archives in his honor. Uh, we, we're so grateful and humble uh, uh, in, uh, for all of his contributions, really just amazing contributions. Next. We're proud of the work that has been accomplished over this past year with a very small staff and, and our volunteers. Our current staff consists of three very talented individuals. Patricia Illingworth, our research archivist, Jacob Griffith Rosenberger, our project archivist, and Daniel Harpin, our technology archivist. With the support of our staff, we are pleased to share with you the following archival statistics. Many new accessions include 34 bound volumes of Connecticut Jewish Ledger, 78 research projects, response to research requests from 11 states and the District of Columbia, response to research requests from four foreign countries. Beyond these statistics, we have had a very productive year in terms of organizational activities and new programs presented to our membership and to the greater community. I'd like to start with the programs. In January of this year, we presented in collaboration with the JCC of Greater New Haven, a program entitled, What You Need to Know About Jewish Names, featuring Dr. Sally Ann Amdersack. In February, we held a virtual tour via Zoom of the Jewish Museum on Fifth Avenue and East 92nd Street with Jewish Historical Society members only. In March, Colin Kaplan, who previously partnered with us to present the history of Lenders Bagels presented The Legend of the Deli. This well-attended Zoom program traced the origins of early delicatessen businesses that were so much a part of the Jewish community, up to more recent versions of this beloved and vanishing cuisine. Also in March, along with the Greater New Haven African American Society, we were invited to attend a speaker event at Congregation Michigan Israel in Hamden, where Yale professor, historian and author, Glenda Gilmore shared her research on the role of black journalists during the 1930s in their attempt to inform the American press and the public of events that were evolving in Nazi Germany that would lead to the Holocaust. 
In May, our Vice President Robert Forbes led a Walk New Haven tour of Jewish sites in Northern downtown New Haven. And later this month, we will be sponsoring Shalom Babies Family Fun Day at the Barker Museum in Cheshire. These programs are made possible through your membership and generous donations to the society. So uh, in addition to these informative, engaging programs, uh, the Historical Society had a great year of accomplishments, uh, and I'll, I'll share them with you now. Um, we added 30 new members to the Society following uh, through an, a new membership recruitment drive. Um, we, uh, we, we updated our membership and due structure uh, to reflect the best practices. Um, we created a governance committee that was established as part of our strategic plan, uh, and it this year focused on bylaws, board performance, and nomination of officers and directors. Um, uh, we received um, we received a large collection of. Um, archival material from the former Jewish home for the AIDS in New Haven. And through a grant provided by the Jewish Foundation, we were able to create a project archivist position for which Jacob uh, Griffith Rosenberger was hired. We also hired our first technology archivist, Daniel Harpin, who has been instrumental in enhancing our information management capabilities and is working with Patty Illings Illingworth, our research archivist and office coordinator on member and donor services. Um, in addition to our assuming custody of the Jewish home collection, uh, we created the Marvin S. Barger uh, Memorial Video Archives to honor um, our late archivist. Uh, we conducted an in-depth review of our archives and its space requirements. Uh, uh, so should the Jewish Historical Society find itself needing a new home, um, if the Fitch Street building becomes unavailable, we'll be ready. Uh, we maintain our involvement in professional archival organizations um, and history groups, such as Connecticut Archives Online and Connecticut Leave of, of History Organizations. Other key accomplishments demonstrate our commitment to improving access to our history and resources and continuing to forge relationships or, with our extended Jewish community. We made it easier to join our organization as a new member and for our existing members to renew membership online, and we updated our promotional brochure. We began the process of digitizing the 10 volume book series Jews in New Haven. We have upgraded our rep reporting on archival research activities. We have launched a project and established a collaboration with Camp Laurelwood that will support its upcoming 80 fifth anniversary. We've also made significant progress in the area of grant funding and fundraising. We have received over $21,000 in grants through Connecticut Humanities and the Jewish Foundation of Greater New Haven. We have raised nearly $12,000 through the Community Foundation's Giving Tuesday and Great Give community-wide campaigns. And in our commitment to reach young families and future Jewish historical members, we are providing welcome bags and a year of free membership to all Shalom Baby participating families. In addition to our plans to sponsor an annual intergenerational Shalom Baby family concert. So where does our funding come from? And how solvent is our organization? I'd like to share with you a brief summary for your information. We began our current fiscal year last July 1 with a bank balance of $50,579. As you can see, we operate a very lean organization with a tight budget. During the year, we have received the following funding to date as of last month. Nearly $20,000 received to date in grant funding. Nearly $12,000 received today through the membership dues that you pay nearly $19,000 received through our fundraising efforts. There are currently over $100,000 in assets under the management of the Jewish Foundation of Greater New Haven, 
from which the Jewish Historical Society receives periodic distributions from donor advised funds. Our current bank balance reflects that we, we are starting the new fiscal year with just slightly more than when we began the current year. Thanks, Marjorie. Um, at this point in the meeting, I'm pleased to present the, the 2022-23 slate of officers. And as you can see here, it's um, uh, Marjorie Drucker as president, um, Michael Dimenstein as vice president, and also uh, under our new bylaws, he, he is the uh, will be the income. He's the designated president for the following year. Um, uh, Harold Miller as treasurer, David Schwartz as assistant treasurer, secretary is Jordan Levin uh, with Elizabeth Brochen as assistant secretary, and me as the immediate past president. Uh, and here we have the board of directors, uh, Peter Alpert, Robert Forbes, uh, Leah Glazer, uh, Miriam Glenn, Leonard Honeyman, Ida Kaplan, Sydney Levine, Stephen Naren, Adele Messina, and David Slosberg. And of course, uh, uh, Judy, Judy, Judith Schiff uh, continues as our uh, director of the Harvey and Eleanor Layden archives. Uh, congratulations to uh, all of this year's slate. As we end the year and look forward to the next, I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank Burton Levine for his leadership and support throughout the last three years as we shared the co-presidency. On behalf of the board, please join me in recognizing Burton as we look forward to his continued advisory support as the immediate past president. Many thanks for all you have done and for inspiring us to continue this organization's important mission. Um, thanks, Marjorie. Um, it's been a great, it's been a great pleasure uh, serving as co-president and having the opportunity to get to know you and share ideas. Um, uh, and also, I want to take this opportunity to thank our dedicated board for all they do throughout this year. Um, and I want to recognize three individuals who will not be on the board in the current year. Um, first is Rhoda Zoller Samuel. Uh, Rhoda's been virtually every office, uh, uh, served in every office possible, except maybe treasurer. She's been the president, the vice president, secretary, uh, a treasurer, trustee, um, and she served for decades uh, and uh, has done incredible work. Uh, with the Ethnic Heritage Center and Walk New Haven, and we will miss her a real lot. Um, a second is uh, Ken Burek. Uh, Ken, uh, for personal reasons, left the board in the middle of the year, uh, but he served for 10 years. He was always a delight and uh, helped out in so many ways. And finally, Brian Real, who has served for the past couple of years, who's helped us immensely uh, with our relationships with uh, Southern and uh, with um, DHC and also just thinking about how to have an archive. And uh, we, not only will we miss him, but we certainly are congratulating him as he goes on to a really new and exciting opportunity. Um, also, we want to thank uh, Rob Forbes, uh, uh, who uh, served as a president for three years, uh, has also been on the board for a long time, and uh, was a, our past president and vice president for the past three years. And he will continue to serve on our board as a director. Also, I, I just wanna take a point, uh, just take a moment here to thank uh, Michael Dimenstein for putting together this program. Um, Marjorie and I are, are the face of it and we're doing all the talking, but uh, Michael spent hours uh, figuring this out and getting it together. And uh, he deserves real thanks. Uh, uh, I know I thank him because it, it, he's made this program really work. And also Daniel Harpin, our technology person, uh, who's uh, keeping everything going with slides and, and the Zoom meeting. Oh. Okay. As you can see, we are extremely proud of the work our organization has done over this past year. It has been important for us to spread the word about our mission and promote support for its activities in the Jewish community and the community at large. And we are very grateful for you to, for joining us tonight as well. Uh, recently, 
we had the opportunity to be interviewed by the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven for an article that, that is now featured on our website. It's a wonderful chance for us to share our story and reach a broader audience. You can access this article through a link in the chat box of this Zoom session, which I think that uh, Daniel will be putting into the uh, chat. And it will also be on our website. It already is on our website. So um, please take a look at it. Uh, it's a great article. It has a lot of our pictures that we have all lear learned to know and love and some great historical commentary that Burton has been quoted on quite a bit. As we conclude um, this Lear's annual meeting, we thank you for attending. And we also thank you for your membership and your generous support. As I said before, without you, we, our organization cannot function. And we look forward to seeing you at a very special and exi exciting event that we're planning for the fall, for Sunday, September 18th at the JCC in Greater New Haven. Very soon, you will be getting the Save the Day card, and uh, it is going to be our great honor to have, in, uh, in addition to tonight's um, meeting of the membership, um, the Greater New Haven Jewish Historical Society's annual award celebration, honoring Hyla and Barry Vine. It will feature the sports history of Jewish New Haven, and you'll see it right uh, on this front picture, one of the documents in our archival collection, um, a poster of the arena, which will be part of a presentation that is being put together by our great archival staff. So we want you to join us at this event. It will be at the JCC and it will be a brunch and more information will be coming to you. So um, thank you very much for coming tonight and uh, also follow us on Facebook for updates. Uh, we have um, our staff has been very active in getting um, the word out through Facebook and Instagram, and we're becoming very techno savvy here. So please look for us in places you might have not seen us before. Thank you, everyone. And we look forward to continuing the good work that we have, have done in the coming year. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wow, wow it's over with. Yeah. That's it. That's our meeting. It's kind of a okay. quick meeting. Good, good, good night. Good night. Good night. Good, good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, everybody. Good night from Harold Miller's brother. Oh, thank you. I was wondering. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.